going to show you how to do this really easy braided updo. Uh, I wear this actually to the gym or out shopping anytime I don't really feel like doing my hair or if my hair is a little bit on the dirty side. Uh, I recommend that you don't take time setting your hair before because it's not needed. Uh, today when I show you it my hair is just air dried, no curls, no nothing. But again if it's like the third day after you wash your hair and it's already pre-curled uh, that's fine too. It won't make any difference. Alright so I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Okay first things first you're gonna need bobby pins, one hair clip, and a brush. You're gonna take this front bang section all together. Now I'm going to do a Dutch braid, which is when instead of taking the pieces and going over, you're going under. That's what makes the braid look like it's sticking out. It's going to look tight at first, but we'll fix that once we're done. You see how I'm pulling the pieces underneath instead of over top so it's going under this piece. Then I'm adding to it like a French braid. Now it depends on the look. You can go right down. I'm going to leave these pieces down. So I already have enough in. Now I'm just going to finish off that braid. This is where you need your clip. So just clip that so it doesn't come apart. Now we're going to take the other side. Same idea, about the same amount to start. Again, going under. This one I won't be taking as much because obviously it's a smaller side of the head and we want it even amounts of hair left by your ears. Alright, so that's all I need. Now I'm going to braid this. You might find if you're like me that you have an easier time doing this look without watching. So I can braid my hair every time I watch myself braid my hair. It goes well. Okay, so once you get close to the end, you are going to take this and I'm going to spin with you so you can see. I'm going to go all the way to wherever it stops. Make sure it's about middle of your head. You're going to take your bobby pin and you're going to go um, against the braid, so pushing towards the actual braid. You might need two just to be safe. And go up. 
Now we're going to take this one. Actually, finish it a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to feel for that braid and you're going to lay it right either underneath or on top. And the same thing with the bobby pins against Tuck in where we have. You kind of can't see that. Then you have a braided like headband. Now that they're pinned in, we're going to go ahead and pull on the braid. So it becomes more bigger. It'll look bigger and fuller. Just gonna go do that lightly around the whole thing. See how it's getting bigger looking? Same with this side. Try not to pull too hard or else you'll pull the whole braid from the bobby pins. So one side, then the other. Alrighty. Of course you can keep pulling and pulling until some of it kind of falls out if you want more of a messier look. That'll look cute too. And see the whole thing. So again, that was super easy. Now you have a cute kind of half up hairstyle. Now, if you want to keep it like this, it's nice and cute and mostly down. Now, if I'm going to the gym or out somewhere and I want my hair up, I will continue it. So now I'm going to take this section above my ear. I'm going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to French it so it's going to connect. It's going to be stuck in my head all the way to the middle. Same kind of braids. I'm going to go underneath. So I'm going to be Frenching this.
once I feel like I have um, basically to the middle, I'm just going to finish off the braid here. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. Oops, there it goes, sorry. Okay, now that I'm basically to the end of that, I'm going to tuck this hair underneath this first one. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. Opposite side. Tucking those loose hairs. Drop my pin. Okay, so once that's all pinned in, all I do is go back and pin any of the loose uh, pieces that stick up and put them in place. Uh, make sure none of my bobby pins are really showing. And uh, if I want to, I can pull out a little bit more of the hair so the braids appear bigger. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it comes easy for you. Let me know if you need any help or any tips on braiding and what other braids you want me to show you guys how to do. All right, have a good rest of your week. Bye beauties.